Shir hallelujah, shir hallelujah, Abba. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom to those who are gathered here at Holy Blossom Temple on site, and Shabbat shalom to those who are joining us online through the live stream. Together we will create one community and sacred prayer, sacred song. I invite you to find the prayer books that are tucked into the chair just in front of you. And those at home, you can click the link that will bring you to Sidur Pirche Kodesh. We're going to begin on page 105. It is Nefesh of Rahman, the Shoch of Dach, Erzuna, the Harut Sahabda, Kimo Ayar, Ishtah of the Muhandara, the Rablo, the Hiduta, Minofet Sufi Holta, Ami, I lie. Shabbat with candle lighting, with lachadodi, with singing and dancing. But first, we take a moment to welcome one another. So see if you can find someone nearby, someone you don't yet know. Introduce yourselves. Wish each other Shabbat Shalom. To lead us in the candle lighting, it is our pleasure to call forward our three B'nai Mitzvah families, Mason Friedman and his family, Samson Zago and his family, and Lynn Chow Feldman and her family. 
And in addition to uh, these honorees, we also would like to have a special invitation for all of the recently married couples who are with us tonight, or recently engaged couples who are with us tonight, or anyone else who might like to join the candles on this side of the bima. So B'nai Mitzvah family is here, wedding couples, and anyone who would like, we have, this is a new minhag, a new custom here at Holy Blossom, where anyone who would like to welcome in Shabbat with candle lighting can join us here. So don't be shy. You can come on your own. You can come with a family member or a friend. We continue welcoming in Shabbat, Psalm 29, page 113. Mizmor Letah Havim 
Avvola donna e penelli. Avvola donna e cavor va Avvola donna e che voce mo Ishtach avvola donna I be hundred codes, collab to nay, al mahim, el ha kavor hirim, adonai, al mahim rabim, collab to nay, ba. Shaper donna e taze halvanon, vayar kirem ke moe ke levanon, vesirion ke moe ven revim. Yai lai lai a adonai, le mahal buhli a shav yishev adonai, Adonai oz le'amo yitain Adonai yiparech et amo v'shanom Yai lai 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 Yai lai 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 Yai lai 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 Yai lai 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 Yai lai 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 Yai lai 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 On page 115, we have the 16th century poem to welcome in the Shabbat bride. Now, in Jewish life, it is considered a mitzvah. It is, it is a sacred obligation to rejoice with wedding couples. And some of our newly married couples missed out on a horror. The pandemic and all its protocols meant no horror for many families. And so tonight is a chance for us to give them the horror of their dreams. <laughs> so we're going to sing L'Chadodi, and at the final chorus, you'll know when, it will be obvious, we're going to join with our wedding couples for a horror around the Mishkan. So I encourage everyone to get ready, to jump out of your seats, and let's see what kind of uh, joyful noise we can make and how we can fulfill this sacred duty of rejoicing with bride and groom. Yale la le la pene shabbat, pene shabbat nikam pela. Shamor vizachor, bilibur echad, ishmiyadu eham yuchad. Ya 
We remain standing, page 119, and we join, catch our breath, and then we join together in prayer. Oh, no. 
Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Bidvaro Ma'ariv Aravim Bechokma Poteach Sha'arim Uvitvuna Meshane Itim Umachalif Et Hazmanim Umsadir Et Hakochavim Bemishmerotehem Barakia Kirtzono Bore Yom Valaila Golel Or Mipne Choshech Bechoshech Mipne Or Umavir Yom Umevi Laila Umavdil bein yom uvein laila, Adonai tzavaot shemo. El chai vekayam, tamid yimloch aleinu leolam vaed, varuch ata Adonai hama'ariv aravim. Roll into dark, roll into light, night becomes day, Day turns to night, roll into dark, roll into light. Night becomes day, day turns to night. Together, unending love have you shown your people, the house of Israel. Torah and mitzvot, laws and precepts have you taught us. Therefore, Adonai our God, when we lie down and when we rise up, we will reflect on the meaning of your laws and rejoice in the words of your Torah and in your mitzvot forever. For they are our life and the length of our days. On them we will meditate day and night. May your love never depart from us. Praised are you, Adonai who loves your people Israel. <laughs> Adonai Elohecha, 
בכל לבבך ובכל נפשך ובכל מאודיך והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי מצבך היום על לבביך ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת בם בשבתך בביתך ובלכתך בדרך ושוכבך ותקומך וקשרתם לאות על ידיך והיו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי ואיתם קדושים לאלוהיכם אני אדוני אלוהיכם אשר רוצה את ידכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים אני אדוני אלוהיכם פייג' 124 All this we hold to be true and sure. You alone are our God. There is none else. And we are Israel, your people. You are sovereign. You deliver us from the hands of oppressors and save us from the fists of tyrants. You do wonders without number, marvels that surpass our understanding. You give us our life. By your help we survive, all who seek our destruction. You did wonders for us in the land of Egypt, miracles and marvels in the land of Pharaoh. You led your people Israel out forever to serve you in freedom. When your children witnessed your power, they extolled you and gave you thanks. Willingly they enthroned you and full of joy, Moses, Miriam, and all Israel sang this song. <laughs> like you Adonai Yalalai Lai Yalalai Lai Lai Yalalai Lai Lai Yalalai Lai 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 Yalalai Lai 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 Yalalai Lai Lai Yalalai Lai 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 Thank <laughs> Adonai Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Grant that we may lie down in peace, Adonai our God, and raise us up, O Sovereign, to life renewed. Spread over us the shelter of your peace, guide us with your good counsel, and for your name's sake be our help. 
Shield us from hatred and plague. Keep us from war and famine and anguish. Subdue our inclination to evil. O God, our guardian and helper, our gracious and merciful sovereign, give us refuge in the shadow of your wings. And guard our coming and our going, that now and always we may have life and peace. Praised are you, Adonai, whose shelter of peace is spread over us, over all your people Israel, and over Jerusalem. <laughs> Hapore sukat shalom aleinu ve'al kolam ho Yisrael ve'al Yerushalayim ve'shamru ve'nei Yisrael et hashabat la'asod et hashabat le'dor tamberit olam. Veshameru b'nei Yisrael et hashabat la'asod et hashabat le'dor tamberit olam. B'ni uven b'nei Yisrael b'nei Yisrael ahoti. Le'olam Veshamru B'nei Yisrael Et ha-shabat La'asor Et ha-shabat Le'dor tam berit olam Kishet yamim Asa Adonai Asa Adonai Et ha-shamayim Ve'et ha-aretz Ve'shamru Ve'nei Yisrael Et ha-shabat La'asot Et ha-shabat Le'dor tamerit olam U'vayom ha-shvi Shavat v'yinafat Shabbat v'yinafash, Shabbat v'yinafash. Veshamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat, la-hasor et ha-shabbat l'dor tamir. Anna na 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 Adonai. Anna na 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 Svatai tiftach. Anna na 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 Ufi agi. Ufi agi tehilatecha. Ana na 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 Adonai. Ana na 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 svatai tiftah. Ana na 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 ufi agi. Ufi agi tehilate. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu v'elohei avoteinu, Eloheinu Abraham, Eloheinu Yitzchak, Eloheinu Yahakov, Eloheinu Sarah, Eloheinu Rivka, Eloheinu Rachel, Eloheinu Leia, Ha'el ha'gadol ha'gibor v'hanora ha'el elion, Gomel ha'chasadim tovim v'kone ha'kol, וזוכר חסדי אבות, ומביא גאולה לבני בניהם, למען שמו באחווה, מלך עוזר ומושיע ומגן. ברוך אתה אדוני, מגן אברהם, ופוקד שרה. אתה גיבור לעולם אדוני, מחיי מתים אתה, רב להושיע. משיב הרוח ומוריד הגשם, מכלכל חיים בחסד, 
Mechaye meitim berachamim rabim, Sohomech noflim verofecholim, Umatir asurim, Umekaye memunato, Lishene ahafar, Micha mocha baal givurot, Umidomelach, Melech me me to Mechaye, Umat me ach Yeshua. Venemanatal hachayot metim, Baruchata Adonai, Mechaye ha metim, Matakadosh, Vishim Hakadosh, O Kiroshim Bechor Yom, Yahalelu Hasela, Baruchata Adonai, Ha Ela Hakadosh. Each one of us has come with a prayer in our hearts tonight. Let's take a moment now to offer up those private prayers which we write for ourselves and we weave them together with the prayers written by our ancestors until page 136. heavens descend on us and the world will say amen may the one who makes peace in the heavens descend on us and the world will say amen 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 descend on us, and the world will say Amen. May the one who makes peace in the heavens descend on us, and the world will say Amen. O se shalom, bim roma, o Shalom Aleinu Ve'al Ko Yisrael Ve'al Ko Yoshvei Tevel Amen Amen Ve'al Ko Yoshvei Tevel O se shalom bim roma, o yahase shalom maleno, amen, amen, ve 
al kol yoshve tevel. May the one who makes peace in the heavens descend on us, and the world will say, Amen. for this good land and for all its waterways. We pray for healing among the peoples of this land. We acknowledge that Holy Blossom Temple resides on the traditional territories of many indigenous peoples. And we are grateful to make our home here and to be able to respond to the 94 calls to action. We also pray for healing for those among us who seek it, and for our loved ones near and far who are in need of healing of body and healing of spirit. Johanna Falk, Hanna Bat Gitel, Sara Leah Bat Moshe Meir Venaomi, Miriam Bat Binyamin Vesara Leah, Joel Sears, Gitel Yaakova Bat Shmuel Vesara, Moshe Gershon Ben Baruch Shalom Chaim Verachal Leah, Eliyahu ben Chaim Yitzchak v'Rachel, Tzvi ben David v'Ester, Sarah bat Devora, Barbara Zeller, Bela bat Yosef v'Streichel, Eliezer ben Avraham v'Rivka. Are there any other names to include in our prayers for healing tonight? for each one we pray. El Maybe by luck, maybe by God's design, maybe by human initiative or some combination of the three, that this Shabbat 
when we honor our recent wedding couples, the Torah is set to the most romantic Torah portion of all. It is the story of how Isaac and Rebekah were matched. And underneath the details of that story, if we read the, the white spaces around the black letters, we find a debate about how does life unfold? How do the very intricate and intimate moments of our lives come into being? Now, it wasn't until the medieval period of Jewish history that Hebrew terms were developed for the concepts of free will and divine providence. But that doesn't mean that the scholars of every age and every generation before did not debate the matter. They did. And we see that in this week's Torah portion played out between two leading characters. One is Eliezer, Abraham's servant, and the other is Rebecca. Eliezer represents the belief that God determines our fate, that God determines every unfolding detail of our personal lives and of human history. Rebecca, on the other hand, represents the belief that human power and free will chooses one's life's course. One Midrash explains that while Abraham was debating whom he should choose for his son Isaac to marry, God interrupts Abraham's thoughts and says, do not concern yourself about a wife for Isaac. One has already been provided. God selected Rebekah years before, even before Isaac was born. So Abraham instructs his servant Eliezer to find her, Isaac's Besheret. Eliezer waits for his cue from God. All is in God's hands. One Midrash imagines that God illuminated Eliezer's path with meteors and lightning, showing him the way, literally illuminating the path to Haran. Another suggests that two angels escorted him along the way through the wilderness. Searching for God's guidance, Eliezer says, Adonai, God of my master Abraham, grant me good fortune this day and deal graciously with my master Abraham. Eliezer the servant is confident that God is not only accessible to the individual through private prayer, but also that God is directly involved in the everyday affairs of human beings. That God grants us good fortune or bad day by day and that God is the one who makes things happen. Eliezer continues with a very specific request. Here I stand by the spring as the daughters of the townspeople come out to draw their water. Let the maiden to whom I say, please lower your jar that I may drink, and who then replies, drink, and I will also water your camels. Let her be the one whom you, O God, have decreed for your servant Isaac. Thereby shall I know that you have dealt graciously with my master." End quote. So Eliezer sets up this test. How will I know God's will when ABC unfolds? And lo and behold, scarcely when he finishes speaking, that's exactly what happens. God responds exactly as Eliezer had hoped when Rebecca comes out and lowers her jar, word for word. And so when we read the story through Eliezer's eyes, we say there are no coincidences. We say, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And if it isn't meant to be, then it isn't meant to be. Now, uh, and Eliezer acknowledges God, God's will, God's hand, and praises God's will, saying, Adonai hitzliach darki, God has made my way successful. And so Eliezer brings Rebekah safely back to Canaan. The match is made, and the rest is history, as we say. Living proof that God makes things happen. So here's the hitch. It's very rare, but in this week's Torah portion, the Torah tells the story twice, repeats the story again 
this time through Rebecca's eyes. So how does it go? She's down by the well, just like every other evening, drinking and sharing the talk of the town, when all of a sudden, Rebecca notices a stranger and his entourage on the horizon. Without even asking his name, but by her own goodwill, by her own initiative, she welcomes him, she offers him something to drink, and she draws water enough for all of his camels. Now, Rabbi Plout includes a note in the Chumash telling us, the bottom of the page, that apparently a single camel needs at least 25 gallons of water to replenish itself. And Eliezer, we read, has 10 camels. So Rebecca shows not only great generosity, but also determination and stamina. No one else from the crowd offers to help. Rebecca alone uses her energy and her strong will, and she is the one who moves the situation forward. Our matriarch introduces herself, and she goes one step further. In a patriarchal society, this is very bold. She invited Eliezer to come into her father's house. She didn't ask her father permission first. She simply said, you are welcome to lodge in my father's house. She saw that this was her ticket out. <laughs> and she was going to do everything it took to make her way with Eliezer to wherever and whomever would be waiting on the other side. After some negotiation, Rebecca's family and Eliezer agree to the shidduch. They make the match. But there is some debate about how long they should wait before they leave for Canaan. According to Genesis Rabbah, Rebecca's family wanted her to stay home for 12 more months, which was the custom of the time, where a young woman would need to prepare for her marriage. But Rebecca, again, breaks from tradition and simply says, Elech. In one Hebrew word, she says, I'm going. I'm going now. And she chooses her own way, and she forges her own path. She even says, whether you wish it or not, I'm going, according to the Midrash. So while Eliezer is convinced that Rebecca must be programmed by God to say all these things, she is just as certain that she is acting by her own initiative, by her own free will. And both Eliezer and Rebecca are contented with how the story unfolds, each one seeing it through very different theological lenses. So where does this leave us? How do we write ourselves into this story? We have been given free will, Maimonides insists. The 12th century philosopher writes, we ourselves decide whether we are to become learned or ignorant, compassionate or cruel, generous or miserly. No one forces us, no one decides for us. No one drags us along one path or another. We ourselves, by our own volition, choose our own way, Maimonides teaches. And Rebecca would have agreed. But where is God then in that frame? How do we write the almighty God into our own life story? It is written in Pirkei Avot that all is foreseen and still free will is given. Everything is in the hands of heaven except for fear of heaven, Akiva teaches. What does Akiva mean? God is all-knowing, and simultaneously, free will is ours. Free will is God-given. Free will is part of God's will. So it could be like a choose-your-own-adventure book that goes on forever and ever. We are given choices in life. God knows and sees all the choices, all the pathways, all the permutations that could be. God is the author of the book. To us, the possibilities for creativity and choice seem endless, but God knows which we will choose, for all is foreseen. God does not push us along one path or another. 
God only lays out the options before us. The choices are ours to make. Some things are fixed, some things are chosen. What are fixed, for example, um, anything that goes against science, right? We're not going to sprout wings and fly. But God will give us the wisdom and the ingenuity and the drive and the curiosity to create all kinds of things that can help us to fly. So let me conclude with the teachings of Pirkei Avot once more, where it is written, make God's will your will, so that God will make your will God's will. The goal of free choice is to steer the course of our life so that we want what God wants. That is a religious life. That is a spiritually attuned life. To want for ourselves what God wants for us, to want for the world what God wants for the world. That is the fusing of the human will and the divine will. Ken Yehiratzon, may it be God's will and may it be ours as well. Shabbat Shalom. We turn back in the prayer book, page 139. Let's stand together. Alenu le shabe akladon hakol latet gedulal yotze bereshid shelo asanu kegoye haratzod velo samanu kmishpochot adama shelo sam chelkenu kahem vegor alenu kechol hamonam vanachnu korim mishtachavim modim lifne melech malche hamlachim. Hakadosh Baruch Hu, Shehu Note Shemayim Veyoser Aretz, Hu Moshav Yekaro Bashamayim Imal, Hu Shchin Atuzo, Hu Shchin Atuzo, Begove Meromim, Hu Eloheinu Einod, Emet Malkeinu Efesulato, Kakatu betorato, Vyadata hayom, Vyadata hayom, Vyashevota elevavecha, Ki Adonai hu Elohim, Bashamayim imal, Vyal haaretz, Vyal haaretz, Mitachat ein od, Venemar, Vyadonai, Lemelech al kolah, Aretz bayomahu bayomahu ye adunai echad ushemo 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 echad. within the year, we acknowledge you and extend our condolences to you. Today we mark the yard site of Leah Allen, Louis Applebaum, David Appleby, Joseph Banks, Dora Berger, Louis Bernstein, Andre Biggio, Elsie Bregman, Saul Brown, Morris Kate, Percy Cohen, Beverly, Locash, Beverly Coleman Locash, Harry Cowan, Monty Denneberg, Max Finberg, Israel Ginsburg, Charles Goldstein, Eugene Gross, Alice Herman, Richard Ingber, Norman Kaplan, Ray Kelts, Victor Kent, Adele Killen, Hyman King, Joseph King, Betty Kofsky, Jacob Kringold, Harry Lightman, Victoria Levy, Joseph Males, Barney Morris, Bella Olsberg, Cecile Pearl, Phyllis Perlman, David Perlmuter, Sam Ratkovich, Frank Rebick, Julia Ruby Lean, Shirley Sasson, Arthur Shipper, Sylvia Seaton, Herbert Sherman, Barry Silver, Eva Simon, Carol Sprackman, Melvin Tartik, Sidney Tobe, Jesse Tischler, Morris Vigoda, Helen Vine, Clara Warsh, Harris Weinberg, Elaine Weiner, Mildred Winston, Saul Wintrobe, Edith Woodrow, Naomi Ulevitz, and Max Zeller. 
We also remember those who died most recently and whose families are in the period of Shloshim. They are Fred Baker, Earl Biederman, Mickey Bredner, Joseph Davio, Jack Diamond, Mervyn Goodman, Marvin Goodman, Jeff Nuttall, Joyce Rothman, and Miriam Rumack. And I regret to announce the passing of our congregant Adele Sager, mother of Janie Rendley and Mark Sager. Uh, the details surrounding this funeral and Shiva can be found on the Benjamins website after Shabbat. Are there any other names to be included before Kaddish today? May the memories of each one be for a blessing. We stand together to support our mourners and to praise God's name with these words. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shemei rabah ba'alma divrach hirutei v'yamlich machutei b'chayechon uv'yomechon uv'chayei d'chol beit Yisrael ba'agala uv'izman kari v'imru amen. Yehei shemei rabah mevarach le'alam u'lalmei almaya Yit barach, the Yishtabach, Vit Paar, Vit Romam, Vit Nase, Vit Hadar, Vit Ale, Vit Halal, Shemed Kudisha, Brihu, Leela, Min Kol, Birchata, Vishirata, Tushbechata, Venechamata, Damiran, Bealma, Vimru, Amen. Yehe, Shlama, Rabba, Min Shemaya, Vehaim, Alenu, Vaal Kol Yisrael, Vimru, Amen. Ose, Shalom, Bim Ramav. Hu yaaseh shalom aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn and comfort to those among us who are bereaved. And together we say amen. shalom v'imramav hu shalom aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru Amen. And as our B'nai Mitzvah students make their way forward to help us with Motsi, Lynn, Samson, Mason, come on up. Um, an announcement for our, an invitation for our newlyweds. Um, we're going to gather on the third floor in the Lantern Boardroom for a little L'chaim in your honor. And uh, for everyone, just a few upcoming events to please note. Uh, this coming Monday night, Rabbi Daniel Hartman is coming from the Hartman Institute in Jerusalem. It's a community-wide event. Please bring friends and neighbors to learn from really one of the leading voices of Jewish life today. Uh, that's Monday at 7.30. Next Shabbat, uh, my father will be teaching Torah study on Shabbat morning, Rabbi Don Splansky from the Boston area. And the following Shabbat, the first Shabbat of December, will be the installation celebrations for Rabbi Eliza McCarroll. So please uh, register for the Congregational Shabbat dinner that Friday night after services, and join us to learn from our visiting rabbi, Karen Thomashow. Yes, who's coming to honor Rabbi McCarroll and her installation. So Hanukkah Galore is coming. Uh, check out the website and fill up your calendar. It's going to be a great holiday season. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam borei apiri hagafen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kirishanu mitzvotav veratzavanu. Veshabbat kodesho beachavah veratzon hinchilanu zikaron lemahase vereshid. Ki hu yom tehila la mikra e kodesh zehe le tihad mitzrayim ki vanu vacharta viotanu kidashta mikol hamim beshabar kodesha. Be'ahava uberatzon in chaletanu baruch hataronai mekadesh hashabar. Sim.
Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Asharer, Malachi Elyon, Mimelech, Malachi Amelachim, Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Boechem le Shalom, Malachi Asharer, Malachi Elyon, Mimelech, Malachi Amelachim, Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Ay ay ay, Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Asharer, Malachi Elyon. Melech, Malachi, Hamlachim, Hakadosh, Baruch, Baruch, Nil Shalom, Malachi, Shalom, Malachi, Elyon, Mimelech, Malachi, Hamlachim, Hakadosh, Baruch, Seit Chem Shalom, Malachi, Shalom, Malachi, Elyon, Mimelech, Malachi, Hamlachim, Hakadosh, Baruch, Ay Ay Ay, Shalom, Malachi. Malachi Hasharet, Malachi Elyon, Mi Melech, Malachi Hamlachim, Hakadosh, Baruch Shabbat Shalom.